Hello, Libra. Is that the weekly readings? Let's go ahead and get started now, Libra, and see what's here for everyone. Reminder that this is a general reading and may not apply to everyone. Hopefully there's something here that can help you along the way. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Libra strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, let's get right into this, Libra. Let's see what's here for you for the next week. Let's see what's here for you for the next week. Let's see what's here for you for the next week. Queen of Swords flipping over. Let's see what's here. What's here for Libra? What's here for Libra? What's here for Libra? Temperance, Queen of, not Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, High Priestess, Chariot, Two of Swords, The world. Eight of Swords. Six of Wands. Six of Wands coming in. Beautiful. Beautiful, Libra. That's how you do it. One more, one more for Libra. Ten of Wands. All right, my friends, um, let's go ahead and get started now. We have you moving in uh, to the energy of the Six of Wands in the next week to come. And there's something here that you are taking on, taking on in a way that's maybe stronger than you were able to do it before, or in a way that's maybe more public than it was before. There's something here that has you up and out, up and at it. There's something, whether it's a new title, whether it's a new idea, um, whatever it is, it has you moving. It has you uh, moving forward. Um, and the Six of Wands is a great energy to do that in. It's full of fire. It's full of enthusiasm. It's full of strength. And you're really able to step in and step up and do what you need to do for yourself here in this situation. So it's looking good. And I think this is going to be a power week for you. Is it going to be easy? Probably not. But I do think that it's going to help you move forward. And I think it's going to bring you into um, some sort of... Um, um, a new a new beginning in one way or another and i don't mean that it has to be a huge new beginning but there's something here that you're opening up to that's pretty um that's pretty exciting for you pretty helpful for you i have to say um as you're moving into the week uh there's something here that you've had to be pretty patient with uh, we have the two of swords over the top of temperance you've had to be pretty patient with this and i do think it's it's about confusion what to do how to do it what's going on how best to go about it what's the right way how do i do this in the best way possible and i do feel like as time has moved forward you have really been able to find um, some clarity for yourself and this is really in your ability libra i think um, you more than any other sign um, you're just able to face the truth in such a beautiful way. And the truth is really, really hard to face sometimes. So I'm in that energy and that's been hard. I don't want to stay there and I don't want to be in that energy anymore. I just want to acknowledge that there has been a struggle here and there is um, clarity coming in now and a, and a feeling of freshness coming in because you do feel like and you do have information to help you feel that way, that you do have um, a way to move forward that's helpful for you, that opens up um, some sort of new opportunity for you. And I think that's a, a really good feeling. And so um, I would say by the middle of the week, you're you're uh moving forward with something are you talking about it not necessarily i think this might be something that you're kind of doing within yourself i do feel that this is something that you're doing within yourself although it is pushing you up and out it's like helping you to be active in this um 
your mind and the strength within you is helping propel you forward um, into something that allows you more expansion. And that's pretty exciting. We have the world here. You have the six of wands moving into the world energy. So yeah, I do feel like many of you are stepping into some sort of new role or a new project that you have going on. Um, uh, maybe even something fun that you have coming in for you, some some sort of vacation or planning um, for some sort of fun moment in, in the future. Um, and I think that this is a, a Libra, something that you have realized is important to you and it might be coming from some sort of inner reflection, some sort of inner knowing. So while you're in action and while people are seeing you in action, seeing you do something that's... Um, in, I would say for some of you, it could be something incredible. For others of you, it could be something very brave. For others of you, it could be something very inspiring. But we have to remember the Six of Wands is a, is a um, is something that we do that it's in the public eye. You know, it's not hidden, although you have the High Priestess here. So I think that the, that what it feels like to me that the, that the propelling um, that you're being propelled from some sort of inner, from some sort of inner um, search or some sort of inner quest. Um, as you're moving out of the end of the week, I think that um, you're in a space now where you realize there's some things to do to kind of open up um, further continued movement in this way. We have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands is like the realization like, oh yeah, this has been really hard. This is really hard. Um, now that I am moving forward in this other way, it's like the other parts of my life, the other um, experiences I've had have become in, in some ways like a little bit more painful than they were before. It's like there is some new kind of process here for you or a new um, project that kind of takes over the last one. And I would have to say that as the we end of the week comes in, um, you, you are, um, moving past some of these, you know, restrictions that you felt, um, in previous times, like whatever has held you back before, whatever kind of complications have come in and have, um, kind of, kept you in a muted space or in a delayed space or um, in like a ethical quandary. Uh, I think those issues are falling away now as you realize there's something um, important that you're about to do, something that you're able to do, something that's in your um, wheelhouse. It's perfect for you. It comes to you in clarity. And there, you know, this has been a while coming for you. I think it's sort of been in the back of your mind, like, you know, you've sort of been piecing it together and kind of um, trying to understand it. And now this group of Libra people are really able to focus in um, and move forward in a beautiful way. And, and that allows them um, to release that concern or to let go of that of those concerns that have held you back in the past. This is really moving through the Eight of Swords into movement ahead. So what you felt disturbed by before, or felt held back by, or felt responsible for before, that really is um, falling by the wayside now. Um, less connection in with um, the rules and regulations that perhaps were around you as a child. So many um, so, so much of the Eight of Swords, it comes from early childhood of conditional programming and all of that. So that's sort of falling away now. And yeah, you're, you're moving forward into something really exciting. Let's go ahead and dig in a little bit. I'll dig in further in the extended and we'll move this forward, um, through the, through the next couple of weeks here through to see kind of how this energy goes forward. But let's dig in here to a, a card or two to see what it is, um, that we can, we can pull forward in this general reading. Um, what card is asking for the most? I just keep feeling like it's this world energy. Let's go ahead and move into this world energy. See what's here for us. See what's here for Libra, for this world energy. We have the moon. I don't know. This, the moon is connecting into the high priestess. And then we have the page of cups coming forward. For many of you, this could be a new uh, person that you meet. Um, or stepping forward with a new person that you've had connections with. Um, we do have the moon coming out. The moon signifies um, a mystery. It signifies, you know, the not knowing. And I think for many of, for many Libras, this can be somewhat difficult to have this, you know, 
this mystery involved in this, but in, in, in other ways, I think that it's kind of, tan it is kind of tantalizing. The moon isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes the moon is just a delightful mystery or something that is, um, somewhat, um, um, it, it's like, a, a a mystery to be solved, a problem to be solved, something to be investigated. That's a, it's, it's something that has a, a fun quality to it and it comes in with the page of cups. So the moon isn't always a difficult energy. Sometimes it can be really delightful. Sometimes it can be something that we, um, enjoy that isn't really of the norm, right? It's something that's down within us. And when it comes up, it's some sort of strange interest or something. And whatever is going on with Libra, if, if this is something that you're doing now in a public way, I mean, how much, how fun is that when you can like move into the energy of the moon, into this mystery, into this investigation, into this beginning of this new process that really, um, you don't really know how it unfolds. And the high priestess is here. And I think that she's in, in more ways than one, sort of delighted secretly by this, by this new, um, experience that's been happening. And it's con connected in with the page of cups, which is oftentimes a new introduction or new love starting to grow or, um, you know, a feeling of freshness, a feeling of new aliveness, a feeling of new health that's coming in. So yeah, I mean, while there's some worry here and while there's some, you know, remembering of the hardships of the past, um, as you're moving forward, Libra, into this, I think that you are, uh, in many ways, releasing the worries for stepping into this, um, starting to see how it can be really fun. Um, and there's some sort of investigative quality here. I have to say there's some sort of, um, I was going to say nitpicking in investigative quality, um, just kind of getting your fingers into it and moving and seeing what's down here. And it is that kind of energy. And it's almost like it's a little bit obsessive compulsive. Like I can't really even talk. What is this? You know how you get involved in something and you get totally lost and, saliva starts collecting in your mouth and you're you like suck it in and it's that kind of an energy it's so interesting all right libra um i am going to move to the extended now and um we are going to look deeper into this um i'm keeping these readings a little bit shorter just because i have a little bit less energy than i have had a couple of years prior but you know what i think this is a good reading and um look i'm talking about the time well that's interesting to me because um, I feel like this has been a good reading just in a short amount of space, Libra. And I know this is a little bit different for me as a reader, um, but it's kind of fun. So I'm going to close it off here and I'm going to move over to the extended. We're going to dig deeper, a little bit deeper, uh, maybe into the chariot, maybe into the six of wands, and then I'll move it forward to see what's there. All right, my friends, thank you all very much for being here. Wishing you all the best um, and have a, have a great week. Thank you all very much.